Let's see some tips on how to efficiently review a pull request on GitHub. And the first one is to not use the add single comment button. Never or only if you exactly know what you're doing. And the reason is that every time you add a single comment here, everyone that is subscribed to this pull request will get a notification. And if they have it enabled, they will also receive an email for each single comment you add here on the review. There's a better way to handle comment, but we'll see that in a moment, because in fact, the first thing you're gonna do is not to add comments, but look at the conversation page. Let's begin by reading carefully the title and the description. Here there isn't written much, you should probably ask your coworkers to add a description, but one thing you have to be careful is that if your pull request closes an issue, you can add it with this syntax here, and you will also see on the right column that successfully merging this pull request may close some issues, and for example, this is the issue that will get closed. On the right column, you can also notice if there are some reviewers, if there are some ACNE labels, and other metadata that you might want to know before reviewing a pull request. Here you can see all the comments on the sender column, and you also have the comments tab if you want to have more details. Now, if there are some pipelines, you can see here from the checks column, and you can find that unit tests are now failing, but you can also get a quick overview here right above the add comments section. And in any case, if you want to know why this pipeline is failing, you can always click on details and you will get pretty much the same view you can see on the checks tab. After having a grasp of all the basic information the pull request holds, now we can go to the file changes tab. From here, in case the pull request has many commits and you want to review only some, you can use this drop down menu. It might not seem super useful right now, but if for example someone adds one more comment and you already reviewed the previous ones, you can have a view with only the changes from that specific commit. Here in the middle part you can see the diff with the old version and the new version, but from here you can change from the split view to the unified view. This is quite handy to see the changes one above the other, but to be honest, I kind of prefer the split view. And now it's finally time to talk about the comments. Here you can see this plus icon floating around when you move your mouse, and if you click it, this view will open, What you can do here. First of all, you can add a comment, for example, this should be multiple. You can obviously use Markdown to format your message and click preview to see how it will render. In this specific case, I'm actually suggesting how to change this specific line and there's even a better version to do that. Instead of explaining it, you can use the add suggestion button and here you can see this code block with suggestion instead of the language, for example, TS. And if you go on preview, you see this nice view and also a warning that says that you must change the existing code in order to create a valid suggestion. So what you can do? I say that I wanted to add multiple here and if I hit preview now, the comment will render this night nice change. And now, instead of adding a single comment, which like I said will trigger a notification, I will click start review. What happens here is that this comment is set as pending. This means that I'm the only one who can see this comment. Who created a pull request didn't get any notification, so once you're done, don't forget to finish your review Otherwise, who created a pull request will not be able to see your comment. Now that we reviewed this file, if we no longer want to see it in the list, we can either close it manually or flag it as viewed. And now you know that you viewed your first file and you can go to the others. If you want to suggest a comment that spans over multiple lines, you can click on the plus icon and drag down. And with that, your comment will be not on a single line, but on multiple lines. And now I don't even have the add single comment button, because I'm in the review mode and I can only add more pending comments. And now that I reviewed this file, I can again click on view and repeat the process until I go to the very end. Now, this is not mandatory, it's just a convenience, so you can technically finish a review even without marking as viewed every single file. And when you're ready with your review, you can decide if you want to request changes and this will trigger a specific review that if you have some setting in the repository, no one can close the pull request until you actually approve the review. So you can approve, which will add the green tick in the pull request, or you can just write a set of comments. In this case, I will request some changes and also add a custom message. And now I can finally hit submit review. And also here I can see that I've got a couple of pending comments. Now, this is how it looks like on our pull request page. Here I have a comment that I just left here when I suggested the changes. And these are all the comments I wrote during my review. If I now go on the settings, you see here I was logged in as Balastrong test, 
and let me switch account and go to the account that actually created the pull request. In this case, you see that I have a notification. And even if the reviewer added two comments and actually three comments with the final one, there is only one notification. And if I click it, it redirects me to the comment that has been written. From here, a really handy feature is that when someone suggests you a change, you directly have this commit suggestion button. And if you click this button, you can directly commit whatever change was suggested. So in this case, I can click on commit changes and now you see that the suggestion has been successfully applied. So if I scroll down, right under the review, you find that first, that this comment is now flagged as outdated and right below, you can see that a comment has been added and the author are actually who clicked on commit changes and the other user who actually suggested the changes. Now from here, I can reply to the comment, I can obviously add some reactions and when I think I'm done with doing all the changes, I can click on resolve conversation. And again, this is like flagging as viewed your files during the code review. It is not mandatory, but it's handy if you want to have a clean history and you want to have a shorter scrubber here and it's easier to review the pull request for your colleagues. But now if I change account again, and again, I go on the user who actually did the code review. You can see in the notification page that there's a new notification about an assigned pull request. And if I click on it, I only see the changes since my last view. And this is exactly the toggle I was talking about earlier, where you can only see the changes from a specific commit. In this case, I know that only one commit has been added while I was offline, for example. It is this commit. And now I can decide if I want to add more comments. I can do them here. Or obviously, if I go here and I show all changes, I can still commit on all the other files. But in this case, I'm satisfied about this change. And I can go again on review and I can finally approve the pull request. If I do that now, you see that here I approve the changes. And if the repository had some rules specifying that at least one reviewer had to accept the change, well, now here the merge button appears. It is not here because this user doesn't have right access to the repository. But if I switch back to my account, you can see that here I can safely squash a merge. Or I could technically do that because the button is clickable, but it is not green. And the reason is quite simple. There's a failing check here that is not preventing me to close the pull request, but only because it is not in the setting. And this is a completely different topic. Anyway, if you also wanted to run the code while doing the code review, there's an extension in VS Code that lets you basically do that. From here, you can easily switch branch and do code reviews. And you can also see that, for example, the comment I wrote from the GitHub page is also here on VS Code. The good news is that there's a video on my channel specifically talking about reviewing pull requests from within VS Code, and I highly recommend you having a look. In case you want to learn more about how to use GitHub efficiently, I suggest you to subscribe to my channel because there is a topic I talk about quite often. And with that said, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye!